Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to you all. You are watching the Chuck Berry and Chico Shock's performance. Their horses are Hungarian half-breeds, which are straddled without a saddle, bareback, or with a patrat. These horses roll in Hungary's sanguinary history, and Great Wars was so crucial sometimes the victory depended on them. The horses were held in studs, which are belonged to great cities or manors. The king of the herdsmen, the Chikos warded them with great care. The tiring and dangerous lifestyle required the use of tricks carried out with the horses, which made their lives easier and recognized the threatening danger much more rapidly too. The Chikoshok often went against the law, that is why the Shandan chased them eagerly. They tried to hide from the officers of the law in such a way that they lay down their horse so the Chikoshok could crouch behind them, thus the horse functioned as a shelter. But if the king of the herdsmen wanted to rest, he could use this pose also. And now you can see the Pustapihenu. The extemporization indicates the discipline and training. The sitting for the horse is a very unnatural position, which makes very hard to teach to them. This pose is called the Pustafotel. Standing on a horse served the clairvoyance. The Chico showed strength if he had to. An average horse weights 450-500 kilograms. The next game name is wine carrying. The goal is to keep as much as wine they could in the cup. The scarf scraping point is that one chikush runs with the scarf and the others have to take it from him. According to the old traditions, who kept the scarf could drink and eat at the jerry shop for free for a year. In the past this game was not this peaceful and what is more, the Chikos daily depositor depended on it because that was the way how the Chikos instead of dummies hunted for rabbits and peasants. Who knocks down the most dummies has the victory. This race presents the horse's velocity, ease of steering and tractability. The riders are galloping in a circle. In the middle of the circle there are always one fewer chair than rider. When the music stops the riders rush in and occupy one chair. Who cannot get himself a chair is falling out. And in the end only one rider is left. He is the winner. In Hungary, carrying a weapon has always been prohibited. Decapitation was the punishment, so the Chikushis used their lashes not only for herding, but beyond the everyday work it served as a weapon against human or animal attackers. Have a look at how our Chikushis wield their lashes. As you can see, the Chikos trained hard their wives too. So here is the woman training in Hungarian style. Koch 5, alias Pusta 5. The name came from Ludwig Koch, Austrian painter who one night dreamed that one mailman rides five horse, so he's standing on the posterior two horse, in front of them there are three horses galloping in the same time. To make this stunt the driver must have stable knees and excellent sense of balance. The spongy shoes protect the horse's back from the pressure and taking care of the cohesion.
There ought to be a particular attention at the matching of the horses, choosing the same character, similar size and mostly the same movement for the Pusta 5. And now our Chikoshis are saying goodbye. Thank you for your honoring attention. See you soon and goodbye. <laughs>